Dynamic Shape Modeling Transformer Rig My name is Barry Kimball Overview This lesson will demonstrate how to use the transformer rig to modify surface data, how to set up a predefined transformer rig, and how to modify slab surfaces. In this lesson, we'll discuss how to use the transformer rig to modify surface data. The key learning objectives are how to use predefined modifiers and how an individual surface can be modified instead of recreated. This video will demonstrate how a transformer rig can be used with a predefined modifier to change original data here we have a rear end of a car, back glass, quarter panel, and sail area. In this case, the sail area has been fine-tuned using CV move techniques and diagnostic shading to create a transitional area that the user or design likes. If we zoom in on this area, and we check this for highlights using ISO angle you can see that this surface has been tuned so that it creates really nice highlights into this fillet so a lot of work has been done to fine-tune the shape of this patch now a request has been made by design to change the length or the amount of crown in this surface. So we already have a set of surfaces defined or a back glass and roof surface defined that matches up to a nice flowing quarter panel surface and we now need to extend that in the plan view, in the side view, and basically in three dimensions. So rather than recreate this surface in all of its curves, so this section and this section and a plan view from the window because we're going to be leaving this original window shape will be the same the shoulder area will be the same and the trunk will be the same we're just going to move this intersection plane I'd like to modify this customized surface to move between the original and the requested shape to do that we're going to use the transformer rig predefined modifier this will be the surface that we would like to move so I'll select it and accept the target then I'll pick a predefined modifier left mouse button selects that I want this to be the origin and accept it this to be the destination and accept that when I hit go the transformer rig will engage and the surface is modified to be approximately the original shape just stretched in length and width and height based on the new surface. If we now take a look at this with the diagnostic shading, we have a similar surface with similar curvature characteristics, but it's now moved to the new stretched location. that is using a predefined modifier to create an individual surface change. In this lesson you learned how to use a predefined modifier and how individual slab surfaces can be modified.